near. Although my background is in engineering, I quickly realized I really enjoyed combining my technical skills with project management and have met program managed multi-year multidisciplinary projects in a range of industries, but mainly focusing in power, transport and defense. Over the last few years, I've led a team of data scientists and AI specialists to deliver these services to our clients. And that's why I'm here today to talk to you about artificial intelligence in project management. So what are we going to cover in this session? Firstly, I'd like to begin by ensuring we have a common understanding of what artificial intelligence is. Then I'd like to explore what the art of the possible is with artificial intelligence in project management and how it can help you. There are some crucial elements which we need in place to use artificial intelligence effectively. So we'll look at what they are and finally, how we can take this forward to enable artificial intelligence to help us manage projects. There are no universally accepted definitions for artificial intelligence, but what, one that I like is from BJ Copeland, director of the Turing Archive. Artificial intelligence, or AI, the ability of a digital computer or computer-controlled robot to perform tasks commonly associated with intelligent beings. At its simplest, artificial intelligence combines computer science and robust data sets to enable problem solving. There is still a lot of excitement and fear surrounding AI development, which is of course expected of any new emerging technology in the market. I'll briefly talk about the two types of AI. One is weak or narrow artificial intelligence. It is artificial intelligence trained and focused to perform very specific tasks. The algorithms classify data and then make decisions or act based on how they were told to interpret that data. Weak AI actually drives the AI that we see today. It enables some really robust applications which you might have used, such as Apple's Siri and Amazon's Alexa. The AI classifies the data that you give it and responds to queries really fast. Another example is autonomous vehicles. Here, the algorithms complete programmed functions. The challenge, since this AI doesn't possess full cognitive abilities like a human brain, is to program and train the AI for any potential road hazard or situation the vehicle might encounter. Weak AI has the potential to benefit society by automating time-consuming tasks and by analyzing data in ways that humans sometimes can't. The second type of AI is strong AI, and it's made up of artificial general intelligence and artificial superintelligence. Artificial general intelligence is a completely theoretical form of AI where a machine would have an intelligence equal to humans. It would have a self-aware consciousness that has the ability to solve problems, learn and plan for the future. Artificial superintelligence would surpass the, the ability of the human brain. Strong AI is still entirely theoretical with no practical examples in use today. But the best examples of artificial superintelligence are probably those that you've seen in science fiction films, such as HAL, the superhuman rogue computer assistant in A Space Odyssey. In this presentation, when I talk about using AI in project management, I will only focus on the application of weak AI. AI has been applied to many different domains, but today we're going to explore the project management domain. Ever since we've had people and projects to manage, we've had challenges keeping those projects on time, on budget, and people on task. Project management is a way to manage a collection of people towards an end goal. And as you'll know, it's commonplace to be managing not only multiple teams, but also multiple projects at the same time. These projects often come together towards a bigger goal. And for a field that is known for having lots of moving parts, finding a way to make the process easier and more efficient is a primary goal. By creating a smoother process, project managers are able to turn out more reliable outcomes, leaving space to help and coach others more effectively. And this is how artificial intelligence can help. AI is increasingly finding its way into project management tools and technology to handle everything from scheduling to analyzing the patterns of a working team to complex analytics. 
By using AI to take on routine data-driven tasks, it frees project management teams to focus on core areas like people management, project vision, team building, and network development. AI can assist on two levels, on a tactical level and on a strategic level. And we'll explore how AI can help with these two levels on the next couple of slides. One of the really key attributes of AI is its ability to monitor patterns, and this makes it a really capable assistant to project managers. Studies have shown that project managers spend more than half of their time on administrative tasks, such as dealing with check-ins and managing updates. AI is capable of handling these less intensive tasks for the project manager, which would be a significant time saver, allowing project managers to focus more on the complex processes behind their management strategy and their people. With the time saved using AI-enabled project management systems, project managers can focus on more important tasks and freeing up that time in a day helps projects move along more efficiently. Artificial intelligence is being used to help with project organization on a collection of fronts. AI systems are able to effectively handle scheduling, reminders and follow-ups to eliminate the need for human input. This is one of the many effective ways that these systems are capable of saving humans time on their various efforts by helping to make sure that nothing is overlooked. And in the not too distant future, you can expect an AI bot to send you a notification reminding you to follow up on an email, that a deliverable is approaching its due date or to populate standard reports. If you remember the office assistant Clippy down here, that was one of the early examples of an AI assistant. Things have come a long way since Clippy, and you might have seen some of these AI fe features that can help you already starting to appear in Microsoft's Office tools. In PowerPoint, there are live captions and subtitles, which can help everyone in the room understand the presentation. Powered by AI, this feature provides captions and subtitles for presentations in real time. Similarly, in Microsoft Teams, the transcription feature in meetings accurately records what participants are saying and can save time when recording meeting minutes and actions. In OneNote, you can add a picture that contains text to any OneNote notebook. OneNote will automatically extract any text from that image for you to use. Play My Emails in Outlook uses Cortana to be your personal assistant. Cortana reads out your new emails intelligently, meaning rather than reading out every detail, it summarizes information like telling you the sender, the time sent, and email contents. Word uses elements of AI to deliver contextually aware suggestions that could improve a document's readability, recommending ways to make phrases more concise, clear, and inclusive. So here we've covered how AI can help make day-to-day -day tasks more efficient. But where it can also provide huge benefit is at the higher level tasks. You might notice that Microsoft Project is not included in this slide, and that's because the sort of tasks you're doing in Project are usually at a more strategic level. From a business efficiency perspective, AI is an advantage because of its ability to manage complex analytics. This allows a system to see the way that a project is moving and make educated predictions about the future of the project. While humans may get caught up focusing on their own problems and may overlook certain shifts in the project, AI has the ability to watch all of the moving parts and then make valuable predictions based off of, based off of what it is seeing. AI is capable of monitoring budgets and scheduling, and over time it can learn to identify potential impacts to these processes. Examples of higher level AI are, AI could help convert mind maps created by project managers into a network and derive tasks and their relationships from it. AI-based project scheduling could include lessons learned from previous projects and suggest multiple possible schedules based on the context and dependencies. Project plans could be adapted and re-baselined in near real time based on historical team performance and project process. An AI could even alert the project manager to potential risks and opportunities by using real-time project data analysis. A more complex potential with this is AI's ability to monitor human beings and make predictions based off of the patterns that it sees. AI systems can observe projects and individual team member behavior, 
It can pick up on certain habits with team members. And this makes it possible for artificial intelligence to recognize when something is occurring that is likely to lead to scheduling conflicts and makes it possible to offer up suggestions on alternative completion dates if the scheduling is off track. It also means that the system may be able to help offer personalized coaching for employees based off of learned habits, such as helping them to estimate their own work in future. In essence, in time, it seems that AI enabled project management systems will help realize huge gains in project efficiency and performance. A system that is capable of analyzing someone's every move is likely to be more reliable in predicting actions or potential needs than an individual person might be. AI holds the key to helping management understand the nuances that come with individuals who are working with their own patterns and how this affects project cost, time, and keeping people on task. Overall, the potential benefits of bringing AI into the project management space are significant. However, AI will only ever be as good as the data that it receives. So let's have a look at how that process typically works. You may have a data scientist or an analyst who will go and collect the data from various sources. They may do lots of pre-processing of the data. They might implement or develop AI methods, and then they'll bring all of this information together to analyze it. And finally, the results will be presented to stakeholders. However, the data is out of date as soon as it's collected, and this provides little value as you can't act on the out of date data. These solutions sit on the shelf as a nice proof of concept, never went anywhere. And that's why implementation of AI in project management is not straightforward. As a project manager, you need to make decisions based on the current situation. And this is what I mean by a static AI process. In order to get value from AI in project management, data needs to be timely, consistent, and high quality. This process is much more streamlined. Data is ingested, it's fed into the AI, and immediately delivers inside the most recent data. A continuous pipeline of data needs to be created to feed the AI, the AI to provide the insights and value that project managers need and improve decision-making processes by delivering insights in a timely fashion. And this is what I mean by a continuous AI process. A continuous process improves the speed by removing the analyst from the process, but this is only possible if the business processes and data are capable of supporting this. There are three things which need to be in place in order to achieve a continuous AI process. And they are a data estate, data quality, and data bias. I'll go on to explain each of these in more detail on the next few slides. The first is the data estate. The data estate is the data that an organization owns. If you were to think about all of the data that you need as a project manager to manage your projects, for instance, time bookings, cost estimates, purchases, is it stored in a centrally accessible place or is it fragmented across a number of modern and legacy systems? Do you manage things in uncontrolled Excel spreadsheets? Given that we've just talked about a continuous AI process, if your data is scattered around the organization, how can we expect to continuously funnel this data and use AI in project management? In many organizations, data is disjointed across multiple systems with no coordinated structure. This inhibits the use of data-driven AI solutions and so can't return value for the project manager. Now that we understand where our data is held, we can now turn our attention to the data that is there. How much of it is machine readable? How much of it depends on human interpretation and interaction in order to, for the meaning of the data to become clear? Think about how your documents are stored. Are they stored as PDF or Word documents? How can a predictive AI model get the data it needs if it isn't in the format that, it's, that it expects? Another example is if a company processes its, its expenses by employees typing in receipts, what is the difference between lunchtime expenses and went for lunch? 
The predictive AI can't tell they are the same unless there are an ever increasing number of levels of AI, which would make the solution very complex and impractical. We need to put standards around how the organization records their data in order for it to be sufficiently high quality to be useful. The third factor present when we talk about using AI solutions to make predictions is data bias. As we discussed earlier, AI is only as good as the data given to it. And of course, that data is often recorded by human beings who may respond to incentives when recording their data, which can result in data which is biased. And also given that human beings are naturally emotional, they're bound to allow individual biases to have a bearing on their decision-making, even when there are numbers involved. AI helps in elimination of such, of such biases, which implies that by using AI, project managers achieve increased accuracy without human errors or biases. Think about the data recording processes in your business. Do all business processes incentivize the most accurate reporting? If a bias is un in the underlying data, then there will be bias in the results. So how do we take AI in project management forward? If you can see an application for AI in the management of your projects, I would urge you to consider two things. Is it on the tactical or strategic level, which you think you'll see the biggest benefit? Would AI assistance with administrative tasks be of biggest benefit? Or would adapted and rebaseline project plans based on historical team performance and project progress help you with the management of your project? The second is your organization's data strategy. I'd like you to think about how fit for purpose your organization's data estate is in supporting some of the applications we've talked about today. Try to challenge your organization to put in place the foundations that enable AI in project management. Whilst there are a number of challenges with the data pipelines and quality of data within organizations, AI in project management can be a really powerful technique. By taking on routine data-driven tasks, AI frees project management teams to focus on core areas like people management, project vision, team building, and network development to achieve the project objectives. AI will undoubtedly change how projects are delivered and how project management will evolve. But it is important to remember that there is something AI cannot do, and that is be human. AI will assist, not replace project managers, and as with every technology, AI alone will not guarantee success. But deployed well, AI can be a distinctive accelerator and game changer for project managers and help increase project success rates. Thanks for listening. Are there any questions? Thank you very much, Catherine. That's a, a real look to the future. Um, I'm looking, I'm waiting to see some questions to appear. I'm sure there'll be some, but... Um, one thing that I would raise at this stage is we heard earlier that um, the use of um, embedded data analytics in projects it, it really brings with it the need to do a lot of upskilling of people across project teams and organizations in order to understand and manipulate the data. Uh, is it possible that AI actually will take over much of that digital upskilling, but does that bring with it the danger that organizations might let the machine take over and adopt a responsibility which is not appropriate. Yeah, that's a really good point, Peter. Um, I, I don't see, you know, um, as I talked about the, the different types of AI, weak AI and strong AI, you know, we only see weak AI um, uh, in, in application today and um, strong AI is entirely theoretical at this stage. So, Weak AI can only um, only do what we've we've told it to do, and kind of the the processes that it um, uh, that, that it can only act based on how it was told to interpret that data. So I, I don't see it, you know, taking over jobs of project managers or data scientists. But certainly the the tools that AI specialists and data scientists can develop to it assist with project management for the more administrative tasks, I think would be really helpful for us um, to give us time and space to be able to focus on 
you know, maybe more people centric tasks that AI won't be able to handle or more strategic tasks? Thank you. Perhaps I might follow up by asking you to expand perhaps on the issue of trust, which is how do organizations develop an, an adequate level of trust in AI to basically base their own business decisions or project decisions on what the AI is, is, um, is reporting or, or recommending? Yes, thanks, Peter. Um, I think it comes back to um, the three things that I talked about for that continuous AI process. So in order for a company to trust, you know, the output of the AI, really it relies on the, the quality of data that goes into that AI. So focusing on those three things, the data estate, the data quality and the data bias, I think is really important for businesses to be able to trust um, what AI would tell us or help us do. Um, I think the tools that, that we would be using initially would just be helping with administrative tasks. So project managers would have that sense check in place. It's, it's not going to make any decisions or act, you know, on your behalf without, without, um, you know, the, the project manager being aware of that. So I think it would just be helping with time efficiency um, initially that would be really helpful to project managers and the business in general. Thank you. We, we have a follow-up question now on, you mentioned that um, AI bots can help project managers deliver more strategic decisions. What do the people need to do in terms of upskilling in order to be able to fully realize the potential of this? Yeah, that's a really good question. Thank you. Um, so I, I think I think um, the, there's obviously um, quite tactical tools that that I mentioned. You know, with the various um, uh, various Microsoft tools that are already available that could help us with the kind of tactical day to day tasks. But on the strategic level. Um, where I talked about, you know, potentially scheduling projects based on lessons learned and adapting and rebaselining project plans. Um, I think having an awareness of what AI is and what it can do would be really useful and how we can really harness the power of AI will help us in the future. Um, I think working with, you know, AI experts and data scientists to implement you know, the algorithms that can help us to do that um, is, is how we should move forward. And finally, Catherine, could you perhaps say something about building a business case, an investment case, if you like, for the investment that's needed? And it looks to be quite a significant one in introducing an embedded AI into a project-based organisation. Yes, yeah, sure. Um, I've, I've seen a number of studies that show you know how much how much time project managers spend on administrative tasks like dealing with check in and check ins and managing updates. So you know if if we were able to use AI to help with those tactical um, tactical everyday um, tasks, that would mean that project managers have more more time and space to focus on the more important tasks and you know, perhaps more strategic elements of their jobs. Um, so I think just being able to spend more time focusing on those things would undoubtedly have, have huge benefits for um, businesses.